channel. Today we're going to be discussing how to set up an Exodus wallet on a live USB installation of Tails. This is a multi cryptocurrency wallet so you'll be able to store all of your cryptos on there and it will be secure. First things first, we need to open up Tails and we need to configure Tails with persistent storage and with the admin password. If you need to know how to do persistent storage please check out the video I'll link it in the card now and I'll also link it in the description below. So we'll just unlock the persistent storage. You also need to set the administration password. Then we can start Tails. Okay, once we have Tails ready, we'll go ahead and we'll jump to the Tor browser. From the Tor browser, we need to search for Exodus Wallet. Go to the Exodus page, exodus.io. Download. We need the desktop version, so drop down from here. And we need the download Linux app .deb. If you click on that one, press save file. So I've already done this. So you'll need to download this package. Once this downloads, this will be in the Tor browser downloads folder, which you can find here. Uh, applications, and then go to system tools. Sorry, files, Tor browser. And you'll see the downloaded file here. So the first thing we need to do is copy the downloaded file over to the persistent storage. So from this Tor browser into persistent, I've created a folder called Exodus and we'll just place the file here. So that means we'll get access to it every time we reload Tails. So once we've done that, we go applications, system tools, terminal, We need to cd, which is change directory into the persistent, and then cd into Exodus. That's the folder we just created. There's the package there, the dot dep. So now we need to run sudo dpkg minus i Exodus. This will install the Exodus wallet. Just need to type in the admin password we set, and that will go ahead and install. Once that's installed, You'll see it's completed here under applications accessories you'll see exodus so if we go and open exodus so this is now our wallet here we have portfolio wallet etc so if we go to wallet we can see here this is all of the crypto which this wallet can accept so for now we'll just go to bitcoin and we'll go to receive and this is the public address for the Bitcoin wallet. So we'll just take a screenshot of that quickly. Just keep that safe just so we can verify when we reload that it's the correct address. The first thing you want to do is go to settings. And then we need to go to backup. And then we need to go to create your password. So. Just type a create password in here. Memorize your password, type it in again. Next. Now it's gonna give us the seed phrase. So you can write this down or print this out, or you can use, as in my previous video, how to store your seed phrase securely on USBs. Again, that's linked below. So for now, I'll just go to print phrase, uh, print to file, and I'll just save this uh, in the persistent storage. So in the documents, sorry, amnesia, persistent, exodus. I just called this seed. Sorry, at the top, I'll just type seed. And press select and print. And then check your paper back up. So what I'll do is 
I'll just open this and I'll just check which words we have in there. We're not connected. We're not connected this through Tron, so it doesn't actually have any internet access, and it's not connected through Tor either. So just press OK on that one. We can see it's brand, so we'll just click brand. Finish. Now you don't want to keep this file obviously in a PDF format. You want to delete it and secure it. So now we're done. So all we need to do now is if we press Control Shift D, that will give us the developer menu. We press developer, data folder, open data folder. This will give us the config. So from here, if we press Control A, Control C to copy everything. We'll go back to our persistent Exodus. We'll go new folder and we'll just call it Exodus Backup. Create. In there, we'll paste. So this will be the backup of our wallet so that when we reload Tails, we can restore from this. So now if we close this, Close this, close this, we'll close Exodus. If we reopen Exodus now, we'll find it here in Accessories. We'll have to type in the password we just set. And we have access to our wallet. So what I'll do now is I'll reboot Tails and I'll show you how we can reinstall Exodus and restore the wallet. So once you've rebooted Tails, we'll need to go to the files, and then the persistent storage, and we can see our files are here. We'll also notice under accessories, Exodus is not installed. So to install that, we just need to go back to where we had this deb file. So applications, system tools, terminal, CD persistent cd exodus and then we just need to do sudo d package minus i exodus. type in the password so once when you reboot into tails you also need to make sure the persistent storage is unlocked and you have administrator password set same as before just let this install. Okay, once this is finished installing, we'll go back to Applications, Accessories, and we can see Exodus is here. Now, this will not have our config loaded. It will have a new config. So how do we load the old config? So we'll get two file windows open. This one will go to Persistent. We'll go to Exodus, and then we'll go to Exodus Backup. So these are the config files we copied from before. If we go to Home, you can click on this drop down and click show hidden files. And this will give us the .config folder. These are the files that we need to replace. So from the backup, control A, copy, paste. And then we need to do merge, apply this action. Then we need to do replace, apply this action for all files and folders. And that's it done. So now when we go back to Accessories Exodus, we'll be able to type in our password. And there we go. We can now access, and if we go to Home, Wallet, Bitcoin Receive, you can see the address there ends in 2S6U, which is the same as before. So we've successfully restored. If we do have any issues, we obviously can restore from the seed phrase, but that should be securely backed up elsewhere as it contains, you know, everything. And that concludes the video. If you need to run the Exodus wallet with internet access, you'll need to use the Torify command. I'll leave a link down in the description below for more details on that. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, like the video as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much.